Hey everybody, welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. Today's challenge is taking these left turns out of this parking lot. This is the Home Depot parking lot in Schaumburg off of Barrington Road. This is one of the most difficult left turns you can possibly make. It really depends on the traffic at the time. Right now it is about 4.13 p.m. on a Saturday. We're going to see how well it does to get us out onto the road. All I need to do is put it into drive. Let's go ahead and do that right now. And we're going to wait for the icon to show up. There it is. And we're going to, oh, it just went away. We're going to wait for it to come back. There it is again. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And the car comes out. It's hesitating a little bit. Oh, it says, <laughs> it actually doesn't give me any message. It says cruise control unavailable. Don't know what happened there. I'm going to step on the brake and that will disable it. I'll go ahead and double tap down again and the car will take off and resume just as it was before. Not sure what happened there. It is hesitating coming up to this area. There's a car coming on the right. Hopefully it doesn't clip the curb. It's a pretty steep curb there. Good, it went out far enough to avoid that. So I do have my windows rolled down and I've got my GoPro mounted to my forehead so you can get a full view left and right of this extremely difficult area. At this point, my daughter is calling me a little bit of a distraction, but take a look here. There are two people behind me. The queue is building. This car in front of me is slowly coming out. My left turn signal is on, but the positioning of my vehicle is very confusing. So take a look at the vehicle here. It's slanting to the right as if I'm going to be turning right, and yet I'm turning left. As soon as it gets here, it hesitates. It says stopping for stop sign, and it's just way too awkward. I do disengage to be polite to those two poor people behind me. I don't want this to be a science experiment. If it's not working out, I'm going to take over. So that is a disengagement. Here we are. Left turn signal is on. It says stopping for stop sign. I'm putting a little bit of force in the steering wheel. You can see to the left, we don't have anybody. To the straight, we do. And then also on the right side, we do. So now it's coming out. Okay keeping a close eye on things, and it did really well there. Nice job. So that's one for two. The first one made me uncomfortable because of the lane positioning. Coming up here, left turn signal is on. It kind of stays in the middle once again, and now we've got a truck coming up on the right. Okay, I'm gonna take over because it's it was going way over to the right and not giving this truck any room. So we are incorrectly positioned again. So I'm manually driving here. Unfortunately, I'm I'm not giving that truck in back of us enough space to, to go. Really unfortunate with the positioning again on that one. Okay, so this is why this is a dangerous intersection. You can see here, if cars start coming on the left, I am immediately in the way. Really challenging spot. They really need a traffic signal for that intersection. Because of that, that, that moment, in, that's two disengagements due to positioning. And I, in the past, didn't have as much of an issue with that. So because that bothers me so much right now, I'm going to go back and try it one last time. So we're going to give this four tries today. Left turn signal goes on. Let's hope that it stays left this time. Got a car behind us. Stay left, yes. Okay, so that other car helped it. So there's no lines dividing the right and the left, but having that other car there seems to have helped it stay to the left. That's a really good thing. So it's doing the right thing. The car behind us is also going to be coming out here, turning left, it looks like. Now let's take a look. We've got some cars on the right. No cars on the left. It's clear on the left. Straight away, this is very nerve wracking. Nice, nicely done, okay? <laughs> so it still impresses, it still impresses. There are those moments when you have this, you know, situation where you just really get in the way. And then other moments when it just does everything beautifully. So it's that mix of emotions with beta that really gets you excited and disappointed. And then it, in the end, it just all cancels itself out and you just feel like beta is beta. I don't know how else to describe it. I mean, if you are willing to experiment and have fun and explore neural nets and artificial intelligence when it comes to matrix math and 
all, all of the bag of points and if everything that you learn in autonomous days, then great, you can sign up to become a beta tester. But if you want to just sit back and relax, it's very far from being in that state. So I hope hopefully these videos are proving that to you that there's a lot of situations where you really need to be on your toes to be ready to take over. And that's obvious for anyone that's been using beta for a long time, that's very obvious. But if you're evaluating whether or not it's worth it to even rent or purchase beta, the full self-driving, uh, it's just, it's really not there yet. And it, it honestly creates more stress than if you were not using it. However, for me personally, I like having the option of being able to turn it on whenever I want. I am a little bit uh, unusual, I think, because I enjoy torturing myself to hopefully improve the technology as it goes along. Now, bear in mind, I did buy this much earlier than a lot of people. I got this in 2019, and at that time, full self-driving was $5,000. Because I got it after I purchased my car, it was $6,000, but still way less than what it is today. It blows my mind that Tesla is able to sell it at that high price. It makes no sense to me because it's not ready. It's you're, you're buying something that is not ready and it actually creates more stress than if you didn't have it. So it makes no sense to purchase it at t today's prices in my opinion. So if you're trying to make a decision, I would definitely take that into account because a lot of situations like right now I mean if you, if you have a very simple drive and there's not too many traffic lights and you're kind of out in the middle of nowhere then it might make sense for you but if you're living especially if you're living in a busier city or a, a busier suburb area suburban area like I am there it, it, it really just doesn't make sense today in its current state in 2023 Thanks a lot so much for watching. I appreciate all that you do. Please hit the like button, subscribe if you enjoy my content. Most of the people that are here viewing my videos are not subscribed. It goes a long way to support me as I grow my channel. Throw a comment in the chat. I'd love to hear what you'd like to see coming up next and love to interact with you. I try to reply to every single comment on every one of my videos. Thanks again so much and I'll see you guys next time.